Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla, joined here by my buddy Pat, and this is the Liat 6.5 Protection Overview, and of course, this gear is available at Revzilla.com. So today we're gonna cover two different pieces from Liat. We've got the pro chest armor, which is what we've got Pat in right now, and then we've got the full body armor as well, which is a little bit different. It has like a mesh main chassis that it's gonna include. We'll get into more of that in just a moment. But first, let's talk about what we got going on here. It's got hard TPU on the chest. This is gonna be CE level two protection at the chest, as well as at the back of this particular armored rig. And they're looking at CE level one protection around the shoulders with this hard TPU that's got some foam padding underneath it to make sure it's nice and comfortable. I like from the previous generation, you might be familiar with the 5.5, they made some nice key updates, which I wanna talk about real fast. Towards the shoulder, this is one of the biggest things that Pat and I both noticed here was the adjustability at the shoulder. Now it used to be on kind of this rail system for the shoulder plate so you can maneuver how you want it to be positioned. However, it would slide down throughout the ride so Pat even was utilizing zip ties to help keep that in place. And now that it's on Velcro, it still gives you a lot of adjustability. However, it's not gonna slide down on you throughout your ride. And you'll see right here towards the top of that shoulder, it still articulates very, very well. And you can pop the shoulder plates out if you wish to do so. So a lot of MX riders out there I know don't typically utilize the shoulder plate, so easy to take those off if you don't want that coverage. The plate here at the chest, this is another nice thing, a nice update from the previous gen. This is removable, so you can take this right out of there and that's gonna allow the neck brace to actually sit flush and sit more comfortably against the body and just make it a little bit more secure because now you don't have these big pieces of plastic. Now it used to slot in and that was kinda nice too, but I think this is an overall better design and it's gonna allow people to utilize a little bit more options when it comes to neck braces. And that is removable on the front as well as the back to accommodate that neck brace and it's removed via an Allen key. Highly breathable, very, very comfortable. I'm really excited about this armor. Pat, go ahead and face that direction for me, sir. We can uh, strike that right. You know what, he's been here a few thousand times, right? So on the arm, you've got some adjustability via Velcro. One thing I wanted to mention on the sides is that this is adjustable as well. Same thing with the 5.5, of course, but you've got more adjustability. This strap actually comes out of the side here and you can actually pull this in further. On the previous design, you could only adjust it so much and now you've got this full range. So you you can cinch it in. And this is actually a really good update for Pat because he's got a larger chest. The guy does some serious B press and then his waistline, you know, he needs it a little bit snugger around the waist and to pull that in. And now you can easily do that. And of course, you've still got that coverage around the ribs. Pat, go ahead and face the back for me, sir. And this plate, as I mentioned before, just slots right out of here so you can accommodate the neck brace, CE level two protection at the back. And then we've got a slight bend as we move towards the rear and that's just gonna align better with the spine. It's gonna be more comfortable when you're in that more aggressive riding position. Pat, go ahead and face the front for me, sir. Now we're about to take a closer look at the full body armor, but before we do, keep in mind this gear will ship to you for free. And as always, we do have a price match policy in place that is there to ensure you're getting the best deal around. And the last note I wanted to make was about the fit. We've got Pat here, six feet tall, 220 pounds with a 44 inch chest. He is currently wearing a size large XL in this particular pro chest armor. Now on the full body armor, he is wearing a large. This is gear that I would recommend sticking with your typical t-shirt size. I've used a lot of different brands. I always stick with my typical t-shirt size and everything fits me accordingly. So without further ado, let's check out that full body armor. All right, so we've got Pat here in the full body armor. This is gonna increase the price a little bit. So the previous, the Pro Chest, you're looking at $290. With this one, you're looking at 350 bucks, but you're getting a little bit more. As you can see, he's got this stretchy mesh base layer, as I would refer to it as. It's very comfortable, but it's got an adjustable kidney belt. And then you can see you've got armor at the shoulder as well as the elbow and a little bit of this foam protection here at the bicep. That's gonna help out with some branches and things like that. So that's really the main difference between between the two and obviously you don't have that articulating shoulder towards the top that you do with the pro chest because it's integrated to this base layer that you see now and this is something obviously you throw that on throw on the chest armor and then your jersey on top and you're good to go now I mentioned before that the plates do come out so I did want to show you that on this one because they're very similar I'm gonna wrestle this out and try not to judo chop back here in the neck as I do 
pull that out. As you can see, that pops right out. We'll go ahead and frisbee that one over there. And then this is where the neck brace is going to slot in. As you can see, it's designed for that to sit directly against the chest. And I think that's gonna help it maintain stability. The other thing I wanted to mention, you're gonna get this on the pro chest as well. You probably saw these red tabs and wondered what they are for. This is for the neck brace itself. This little strap goes over a slot on the neck brace and that just helps keep it more secure around the shoulders. When you're moving on the trails, obviously you're bouncing up and down off of the bike and that's just gonna help with the overall stability. Very straightforward on the kidney belt via Velcro, easy to adjust and it feels very comfortable and it serves as an extra brace for your back, of course. That is very nice to have. Trust me, it does make a difference, especially as we start getting older and older. Pat, go ahead and face the back for me real quick, sir. This plate slots out as well, and you do have some adjustability at the back with the kidney belt. While you can't see it here, there is a little bit of Velcro towards the back as well, so you can adjust the height just a little bit via that Velcro. CE level two protection at the back, and of course, this plate comes right out. And just to show you the back, that's where that is gonna set. Obviously, we've got a large tag there, but that's where that neck brace is gonna slot in and sit. Pat, go ahead and face the front. CE level two protection at the chest, and CE level one armor when you're talking about the shoulders as well as the elbows. Now working our way down here, I mentioned before, uh, you know, you've got this foam padding here to help with branches. You can see the red armor slightly underneath that. So that's gonna be hard TPU and then that CE level one armor underneath there. One thing I would love to see, we're seeing it now on their uh, knee guards as well as their elbow guards, their standalone knee guards and elbow guards. They have this sublimated graphic that's an X and what it helps do is actually maintains the, the stability that this has or the firmness in this area because over time stretchy materials tend to stretch out and get overly stretchy and this will become loose over time so I would have loved to see a little bit of that sublimated X graphic that we're seeing on their knee guards and uh, their elbow guards incorporated into this but overall you can go ahead and put that down Pat thank you sir overall I think it's going to be something that's going to be highly breathable you're getting a ton of protection this is going to be amazing for those trail riders out there I really like the 5.5 I like the updates that they've made with the 6.5 and again it is very comfortable and for those of you out there one last thing I wanted to mention before we get out of here is just underneath this chest, if you're looking for more airflow, there is a, a piece of material, it's like a foam material that you can actually remove on the pro chest as well as the full body, it's underneath there. You can remove that and that's just gonna help increase the airflow moving through the body. But again, I like the updates that they made to the 6.5 in comparison to the 5.5. The 5.5 was already so good and they've just made it better with the 6.5 version. But of course, if you have any additional questions, you can always click that info button, that's gonna take you over to revzilla.com where you can read other rider reviews and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about this particular gear that we checked out today or any other gear you might be looking at give us a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at revzilla.com thanks for hanging out with pat and i and taking a closer look at the liat 6.5 protection overview i'm brandon keep it pinned